Uh, what's up guys, Kuro here. So this time I talk more about the map system for these five uh, the the Nether, Nether Rim. A lot of people are keep asking me about which card which map card is good and what what do I run with? After five days of testing out uh, I find out that this generous card is the best compared to this because this you need three or four card and to get one shot uh to get one frame view. But for this just this card alone, you if you're lucky you can get two to three card. Uh no sorry, two to three uh fame element. It's like this have to take one, two, three. Like take you need three because you need ram monster. These have to drop from six FX rare gear. Six FX rare gear drop from rare monster. And then rare monster. So you need a lot of and the RNG of the deck, like they will draw five five from this tank that you select and another five will be from the chaos deck so you can neither take this or you don't want to take this also fine but this is a must i see a lot of different type of card combo i would suggest this is a must these two reserve if your deck is shit my deck this one is still fine and sometimes they will have a awaken buff here. And then this the uh will draw a card from the okay uh chaos deck. This drop, see whether you want to get it or not. And this another uh must get. Why I say must is because of this mystery chest sincere card will have a chance to get legendary gear some even rare legendary gear drop inside here just whether you're lucky or not to get it and with your with a good card combo right until now i haven't get one so i'm still testing if you want to try it out can go ahead take it and for god of might it's really depend on player if you can get to if you have high regen like to stand in the damage over time for the god of might trial you need around three to four hundred life regen or just use the life source of the the skill like compound potion can't really get you to stay stand inside the damage over time you just need to get yourself stronger if you are not stronger don't get god of might you can get this God of God of War for God of War is at the start when you activate it you will have a speed buff a movement speed buff and attack buff so you kill and run like you can speed run the map very fast with God of War and all these card is like this uh, useful like this is also some player get this like awaken tree trial card that you have if you have this and try some luck to see if you can awake awaken it this drop uh not bad if it's awakened but it still depends on your luck and like about the awaken like this type this is minus 10% drop but in from your card library this deck minus 25 drop so for for another trial deck i get a lot of monster card but i still have changed it because i was going to farm the ember this i always always get it and for this one honors honors and the pt these two card combo together like for example my deck have no currency card i will get this honors plus pity 
PT increase our stage attention point. So what I did is just speed run this. Speed run, collect the point, get to 8, kill the boss. Kill the watcher. And speed run, kill rhyme block. Rhyme block. It's like, if your card is really like shit, just speed run through it with using honors and the PT. Just uh yeah, just speed run, kill watcher. If the ring rock get to four, four watcher, kill it. And let's see this one. This the another card that I I tried out. I want to try out the god of might with three god of might. So always go for for god of might is always go for this one. Increase the timer. Go then go for the gold color, and then this one. So mostly what I get is like this, Flame Fuel, uh, call it Generous, Caution, not, not this one, Caution is another. Oh, so this one I get, I was trying out different one, so it's Reserve. Caution is also another, three rare Confusion card, it's different from this, this is draw a trial card, like three trial card from your deck. It's like you you have to go test it out personally to know uh what I'm talk talking about. Like like there's too much uh card combo, but what I will suggest is get generous, get the sincere reserve. Honors depend on whether you want to do a speed run. Honors and PT is depend whether you want to do a speed run to farm the wa watcher. And try to try to get you see if you have any good luck to get generous sharp. At the end, I always farm God of uh God of Might, so you can use God of War. And remember, this always go on the third of your attempt because these have three. We can run three plus. This card itself is one run. Inheritance two together is three, so just just remember. It's like without without the other card. This card, is like, though this really don't drop. Fame uh, Ellie, this really don't drop without this card. I test a lot of time. We just getting this card. It's like so hard to get a drop. This the the other deck. It's like yeah, I just because sometimes I find that we are really short of monsters, so that's why I get monster card. But this one I have to change again. Like keep change uh keep changing your card to see which one is suitable for you. Everyone have different type of card combo. I can't say which one is best. Just that I only can say that. Suggest people to get gen generous, sincere, reserved. This longing depends on you. The rest all depend on you. Like this, a one, two, three. These three cards. The rest depend on whether you want to do speed run. Like, uh, if there's no good card, you speed run the watcher. Like you just go in. You just speed run. What I mean by speed run is just go to the boss room. Straight away, run in, go to the boss room, kill the boss to get attention point. When you have PT, like honors and PT together, you can farm a lot of attention point. Okay, I will do one run. Like this, like this type, I don't even need to kill everything. Just go in, speed run it.
for the dark search you can like open now right activate the dark search see what is the first one this um memory fragment so i will i will run it you can uh use level one to three like here have a one two three you see one two three four what is the the buff all these give different uh the different icon give different stuff so you have to learn to see or and remember when i saw uh, something like this this is a uh, memory fragment oh no compass sorry and then with your dark search sometimes you will wonder why dark search give you so much frame feel when you have sharp and the the gear drop one let me see sometimes you are wondering why it does give you like when you have sharp plus this equipment rare drop and the dark search have an armor armor icon that is the time you'll find that this drop a lot like the frame frame view will, will drop and the amount of monster so with this card i will go with this one two three so just now it draw draw this card out for me Like some of the card, it depends on the card whether you will uh, speed run to the boss room or not. It's not like you have to f kill every mob. It's like I try a lot of time. When I kill all the mob, it doesn't really give you drop. So just save some time and just skip them. Unless you want to level up. But end game, like level 96 is really too hard to level. I really die like 3 or 4 times. I was at 60% and I die. Because of the I go time mark it and I die there. My gear is only can do speed run on time mark seven, but time mark eight I still need to get more equipment. Like without the the other card combo with just sharp, you really don't have much this compass again it's like compass is not bad the only thing is you just hope that when you have sharp and you have sharp and the other card you will get the armor so that you have high high drop of armor uh, 6 fx gear and then it will get, give you frame feel nice when i record it drop for me if i don't record video it's like there always no drop now if i see if i can get a lot by from the dutch search You kill all this mod just to increase the energy of the dark search. This one. Rare monster give more energy.
No armor. Compass again. Okay. Two. Yep. When I run, when I'm not streaming or record video, I don't really get dropped with these two cards. So with these two, I already have two cards, so I have another two more run. So right now you can try your luck, like if you can farm safe, uh, like you, you can go to time mark 8, from here you can straight away jump to time mark 8, the card will still be there, these two cards will still here, and you still have left two attempt. so this way you can farm so for the drop quality, try to get 140. One hundred forty, but you have to depend on your character if you can withstand all these negative effect. If you want, just put one drop, and the other one is the drop rarity, so that you will have a chance of getting six FX gear. Is that rare? I don't really use rare monster because it's like not much like extra gear. Extra drop quality of gear. You can use a dark search. Energy gun, but maybe this one. I will still die, but I don't really care about level. The amount of damage they do. One. Some or oh, one, two. Sometimes you give more than one sometimes you don't three armor card armor buff but not sure if I get more here nope only one armor So only three. Like even with the armor card, like the not armor card, the buff from the Dark Search armor, I still don't get. Like with the drop all that, but in the beginning it give me like three. So for the Dark Search, it's really depend on your luck whether. Sometimes even when you use compass, like you can even use all a legendary compass or all that, and then if your Dark Search, the random buff that came out is not the the cut combo that you you have most of the time you don't get reward from it because the rng is like too huge and that search is nothing we can do about it only try to see if you have some luck and with this i can farm again like monster 140 this time I try again uh, the equipment memory fragment maybe get this it's like the compass I just use randomly I'm not going to use the legendary compass or all that it's like not worth it because Dutch is still RNG. 
one. <laughs> no drop, only get one. That's why I say sharp, it's not a stable. But in the beginning, I, I get one. It's like with the extra drop rar rarity to the gear and extra gear drop. But if you are not lucky, like that's why I don't like to use a uh, rare compass or legendary compass. Because it's the it's the RNG, and then like you can adjust again. That's why I don't really like this card. It's like to get reward for it, you have to waste three three time, whereby this three run, you can get more from this generous. Right now, I just run this card. Maybe I have to like going to change this away too. Just remember when you have a good hand of card. Run to come to time mark eight. Time mark eight have more drop. Like this also drop Je jealous, legendary monster drop. This have a chance like this. These two have, these two, uh, have so much, like eighty <laughs> percent. Sorry, drop of the frame view whereby this, you need the other two cards whereby you already left your attempt. You don't have that smart attempt to. To get all so much card just for this and it's not a stable drop mm, right now i really hate this card so in the beginning you can change back to time mark seven and then farm from time mark seven until you have two or three card and then go in like this can be the last one go to time mark eight this can be the last one always on your third attempt, get this, this three run. And that is the, I've been farming like for so long, it's like that is the best, not really best, the card combo that give me good result. It's like, I really hate this. It's not a stable drop at all. And this, at the back, like not at the back, at time mark 8, I still can survive on God of Might. Just that sometimes your HP will drop too fast. So, this is basically it. If you are still not, if you are still confused about what card to get, just go try it out. Like, I, I've been trying for like 5 days and try to figure out what card do what thing. That's a like. There is speed run like these two cut together is a speed run just by farming watcher, 
if you need beacon, you really short of beacon, you can get these three card and do a speed run. And then just get these reserve whenever you don't have generous try to go reserve and see if you can draw it out even if you have generous you can also go to reserve if you see you can draw out another generous i got one one or two time whereby i run two generous and i think they run drop five or eight uh frame early so depend on everyone have different like combo of that and the other thing about uh, people didn't say like i've been watching around they say that they are mad their deck can uh, can get like 500 uh fame alley worth of stuff for six hour but they didn't show you the pack what they have is all these three pack is drop rate neither is equipment uh neither is the uh, drop rate, frame frame view, or amber. They have all three, and it's they max all the all the drop. But for us as a not really free to play, is like uh, for us like as a normal or casual player, we don't want to spend so much money on RNG gacha system. So don't bother with that those players say that whichever card they have and they get a lot through out of it but the other thing you have to think that their pack is different than yours so i will i will say again generous is a must card this i'm still testing you can get it if you want and reserve so get generous and reserve this this these two for beginning if your card is still not leveling try to level up you can search it even which which time mark the card came out from and just level as you keep running map you can level up to everything to max i love everything to max around three or four day and oh i forgot to add in about this card the optos the stage doesn't cost the nether this it means that it doesn't cost your compass <laughs> so if your plane have one of it one of these chaos card and use it on your last one try to get all the currency card that you have and then use this as the last uh, last card to run go to time mark it if you can use all legendary like legendary drop compass legendary all the legendary compass that you have it will give you high reward that doesn't uh, doesn't consume your compass so if you have this in your card like this have a complete seven of the time mark so you have to complete this before you can get this cut out at the from the chaos deck so this is the thing that i need add, add in that's it for the mm, about the map system like how to have the best card combo to farm just that everyone combo is different try to find one that is suit for you neither is speed run or you would like to kill everything for me i just like to kill every shit in the uh, in the map i find that it's a waste of time but i just like to kill stuff so it really depend if you have any question that like, can comment down below i try my best to reply if you find that this guy is helpful can give me some like and subscribe and thank you guys for watching see ya bye